Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to continue playing Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to investigate this Mason's Guild. What is it? These things have stayed interesting. There's apparently something here to explore. I the gods are watching me. That's curious. Something over there. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Huh, okay. Actually, on second thought, we're not going to go to the Mason's Guild. We're going to go this way. Find the ledger. Oh, there's some shadow folk. Let's get these guys. Let's get these guys. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And oop. Should have done that first, but it's okay. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna into the shadows. Do that. Heating up. Got it. Get off your... There you go. Reckless! Okay. Not the shadows. Ow! Eek. That's hurting a lot. Maybe I came out here a little too quick. Well, what's going on here, game? Y'all are gonna dash. Oh, boy. Poor Carlac. They're just... They're just going after her. Um... Yeah. Do I have any... I don't think I have any more movement, but... We can help her. Still breathing, despite everything. With haste. Hey, hey, buddy. Don't hit Carlac. <laughs> Yeah, do not react. Do not react. Do not react. Do not react. Go ahead and just see if we can pummel this guy. Get him dead and gone. Ooh, I hit successfully. Can I... Such a waste of that attack. Nice. Let's go. My turn. Ready for this. And this, okay, I was about to say, like, this be the attack that gets her. Dang gum. I need your help. Nice. Can you jump all the way over there? Not necessarily. Let's start walking that way, though. Arcane Acuity. Entity has plus one. Bonus to spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per remaining. Nice, 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 nice. Behold the dance of death. Yeah, we we didn't dance with Will, so now we're just going to do a dance of death.
Do not react. Yes, I, I know, game. We'll deal with it here in a second. That's <laughs> curious. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Man, I didn't get much health right there. Um... How am I doing on healing? Ah! Cap lock. Well, let's see. <laughs> Not much. It would be nonsense to use, uh... A short rest. There, I can deal with that. How close are we to getting another level here? Okay. Alright. Hey, I can push these plugs. Hmm. Or that's curious. Love. All right, so why don't we do this? I think it's Let's this see. way. Our Lady of I wonder what that did. Yep. Ooh, secret entrance. A long way to go still. I'm gonna have her Let's do this. See what we have here. So Shadowheart is a is the mix has no effect here. What is this place? Makes this place uh, interesting. I mean this whole region, just cause this is oh, all about God. Char. So it's really her place to shine more than anything else, just like how the crash is where um Lizelle is a good place to shine. Do you accept Shah's test of your intellect? Cleric of Shah, you are Shah's child. There's no reason to shy away. Not an acceptance. You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine. And a strange sensation of acceptance. Definitely got the witchy looking look there with that hat, that hat on. Think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing. A cleric of Shar, bow your head modestly. You are wise if Shar deems so, ignorant if she deems so. Okay. A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. So anyone else could try this. And if you pick cleric for your playthrough. Then you could as well. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Nod. With Shar's words on your tongue and teachings in your heart, none can deny you. Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. <laughs> Well, hello. Wait, is there something in the large vase? Nothing. What's in here? An altar to Shah. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. All right. Take up the dagger, recite Shah's wisdom, and offer blood. Hello, gifts. Necrotic resistance. Angelic reprieve. Scroll oh, of light. Scroll of revivify. Revivify. And we also have these. Dark Lady's Irritation. Uh, plus five bonus to intelligence. Until long rest. Plus five to wisdom until long rest. Plus five charisma to long rest. She is... She is rocking it. Look at that. Throb. Blood 
whispers. Keep a blade close. Still alive. So that's progress. Yep. What? Mysterian, why are you... Moving in. Why are you... You looking like that? It's such a weird pose for him. He's like about to pounce on somebody. All right, let's get out of here. There is a dagger there. If you take it, bad things happen. So I'm not going to steal it. You have to fight some, some dark just just years. Okay, come on. Yeah, I was about to say why can't why well, can't the camera camera stuck? Ah, okay. So we got that taken care of, which is nice. Um, <laughs> if we go south. Yeah, let's go south. And let's get one of my questions answered. We're close. I can feel it. The absolute. His power is strong here. Yep. We're gonna save. Because I don't want something bad happening. Man, I got a lot of saves. Just in case they get mad. Because, I don't know, they'll be like, You were fighting against our people back, uh, back there at the last line. That's not good. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. My apologies. Welcome back, True Soul. What news? Uh, uh I've entered an en encampment of Harper's protected by a cleric of saloon. Impressive. You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, True Soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. That's what I call an invitation. Let's find Zarel and get this caravan moving. Okay. In her name. Praise the absolute. They swoop in the steam. <laughs> there can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. Another true soul. The disciple all want to see. Well, through Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me and here you are. Karlak, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Quite an interesting mustache. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Oh, okay. Is she a threat? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Mm-hmm. Let's have the soul coins then. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head couldn't forget now if I wanted to. 
Do you want the coins or not? Fine, get on with it. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. Okay. We'll put that coin to better use than Tiamat would have. <laughs> sure you will. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. We'll put the coin to use. It'll help us rid the realms of people like Zariel. <laughs> Whatever you need to tell yourself. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. I do. I think. <sighs> Not as much money as I thought I would. Yay, soul coins, move! Get out of the way! Gosh darn it, I want to see what, what we got here. Titan strings just a little better. Nothing. Nothing. You additional damage based on the strength modifier. Well, well, only one weapon in your main hand and nothing in your free hand. Gain two plus bonus to melee weapon attack rolls. Huh. That's a nice shield. Splint armor class. Uh, Sell first note. We'll have to check that when we get out of here. Plus 16. Big boy's chew toy. <laughs> Who's a large fellow? Level 2 transmutation. I guess that makes them taller. That'd be good for your monk, I guess. Uh, anything else of interest? I mean, the bow might be, like, the best... ...thing. Is she... What? What are you wearing? 13 class. Probably should buy her some better armor. There we go. While raging, wear generates two turns of wrath. Maybe not a good deal with that. While holding one weapon in your main hand and nothing in your free hand, gain a plus two bonus to melee weapon attack. We'll come back to you, dude. I better hope you can handle one. Yep. Of many hearts, one soul. 
Hello. Of many thoughts. Must have come in with the Dryder, did ya? Well, you're in good time. General Kefrix in the main hall. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Uh oh, General okay. Kethrick. He might be mad at us. Let's find out. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Keep silent and keep watching. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Uh, they're faithful soldiers. Uh, I saw the horrors they committed in the absolute name. <laughs> yeah, just, no, we're not doing that. Uh, they're faithful soldiers, you should set them free. See? What I tell ya? Praise the absolute. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius. I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Contain your excitement. <laughs> Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Right. Beg, choke, die. I dream of blood pools deep enough to bathe then run me a bath. Split yourselves open. Ah, ah, oh god. No! Please! We have to, we have to help the dark urge or urges. If we don't, then we're, we're, we might end up hurting someone. That's done with. 
Might as well go say hello to Zarel then. In another lifetime, you were greeted in this throne room like a god. Not the living wreck you are now. Huh. Your disgrace has something to do with this Catherick. You yearn to flay him until he forgets himself as you have. Interesting. Indulging your thoughts of lacerating him. He healed up a treat. He could enjoy your cuts forever and a day. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. Yep. Whoa, wait, I'm trying to talk to you. Come back. Zarel. Zarel. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, disciples, Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Okay. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. And enjoyable. Got any more minions to punish? Plenty. But I hope someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Uh... Bring to mind your years of rigorous combat training and show her the depths of your dedication. Yeah, let's do that. Oh gosh. That didn't work out. Of inspiration, I do. Add a bonus, get some guidance. Daggum, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, 18, come on. Ah, oh, barely. Jeez. You feel her mind tremble with surprise. She wasn't expecting to see that. But she likes it. Such single-minded focus. Perfect to be guided by the Absolute's loving hand. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? Her presence fills your mind. Caressing, stroking, kissing. Then clawing, biting, cutting. Your pulse races, your heart strains. Then as suddenly as it began, the pain becomes overwhelming pleasure. She gave me the power to delight with a thought. Or to kill. So stay on my good side. Okay. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorne. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. I love this, sir. What do, you, what do I do? There is a relic that General Thorne requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. 
and bring the relic home. Understood. I'm headed right. I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Ew. <laughs> we have Balthazar's room key. We should be handy for later. Wait, wait, wait. No, nope, nope. I think it's over this way. There it is. Doop 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 doop. And what a bloody mess it is. Ew. Ew 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 ew. So gross. All right, we're gonna get out of here for now. We don't we don't need to be snooping here. We can snoop here later. I think that's like her desk. And there's a scrying eye. Let's go back downstairs. What's the best way down? Uh, get down. Actually, I'm just going to jump my way down there because uh, you don't need to see me transition all the way down there. And we're going to stop there for today. Thanks for watching Storytime. Gamer, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.